Greetings. Hi there. So what's this business about uh, faith uh, moving mountains? What's this business about uh, turning uh, water into wine and multiplying the fish and healing the sick and raising the dead? What is that? Okay. Well, a lot of people believe in Christianity and a lot of people believe in Jesus Christ and uh, practice his teachings. And uh, these are some of the things that he talked about. And, uh, uh, you know, in the Bible, he talks about, you know, if you have faith that uh, you can move this mountain from here to there, it shall be done. And he makes statements like, all these things that I have done, you can do and more. Uh, wh what is that? What's the power that enables him to do that and say we can do that? Well, the premise is that the power is love. The power is forgiveness. Uh, the power is the end of judgment. Now, that's what Forgive to Win and the Forgiveness Diet is all about. When I uh, say in my book, uh, you know, you can have it all, you know, uh, you can end self-sabotage and create the life you want and manifest everything uh, that you want in your life. A lot of people say that's a bunch of crap. A lot of people say that's just uh, me being a shill. I uh, throw in these, um, you know, these monumentally uh, inflated uh, concepts out there. But I am saying no more and no less than what uh, basically uh, is discussed in the Bible by Christ. That if you have faith, you can move mountains. If you have faith, you can turn water into wine. You can, uh, you can convert uh, uh, physical reality. Uh, healing the sick and raising the dead. No small feats, my friends. Yeah. Yeah, now is, is it true that you or I are going to accomplish that in, in this current lifetime? Probably not. But that doesn't mean that it's not true. That doesn't mean that with the power of love and forgiveness and the end of judgment that we can't uh, convert the universe, that we can't heal the sick, heal ourselves, you know, uh, manifest uh, all sorts of riches and prosperity. You know, progress, not perfection, is, is really what it's all about. We, we are on a soul evolution towards a reality uh, that uh, is, is uh, what, what was manifested or created by God, not by our ego. Our ego has invented war. Our ego has invented disease. Our ego has invented bodies that get sick and decay and die. And not God. God didn't uh, create uh, this reality of war uh, and disease and famine and death and destruction. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so what do you do? So maybe you can't have it all. Maybe you're not going to create every single thing you want in this lifetime, but that doesn't make uh, the power of forgiveness any less potent. Uh, what uh, our, our job is, what your job is, what my job is, what our goal is, is to practice forgiveness as best we can. Practice acceptance as best we can. Practice esteemable acts of kindness, service to others as best we can. Turn the other cheek as best we can. Treat others as we wish to be treated as best we can. And uh, the more we do this, I guarantee the more, you, uh, the more you will see your life working better. The more you will see uh, yourself doing less self-sabotaging, unconscious, thoughtless, impulsive behaviors. You, the more you will see people wanting to cooperate with you rather than against you. The more you will see your life working out for you. You know, the, war, the more you will see uh, your, your physical well-being, material well-being as well uh, along the lines that you desire. So go forth and forgive. Take care. Peace be with you.